Welcome back to One Man Selection Committee, week eight. So basically all I do in this series is I select a playoff every week of the season. And once we get to the final week of the season, I select the actual playoff. These teams are ranked based on how well they've played throughout the season. It has nothing to do with who's better, who's going to win. It's just results oriented. And even more, just wins and losses oriented. It has nothing to do with who I think is going to win. It's just how good your resume is, which is the fair way to rank the teams. So let's get right into my top 12. Um, at number 12, we have Baylor. And I don't think Baylor's that good. I don't think they're the 12th best team in the country, but they're undefeated. And they beat a pretty good Iowa State team. And they beat the crap out of a pretty good Oklahoma State team, you know, top 30 team. So we got to give Baylor some credit and put them at 12. They're undefeated. They have to be there. And just a quick note, I didn't put Wisconsin in, in the rankings. And I know I had Wisconsin at two last week. And that's just how it's going to be. Wisconsin lost to Illinois. No team has ever lost a game that bad and made the playoff. So I'm not putting Wisconsin in my top 12. So on to number 11, we have Notre Dame. No change from last week. They didn't even play. There's nothing I can really talk about. I mean, they've had a decent win over USC, lost to a good Georgia team. And Georgia's still not bad, and I'm not going to hurt Notre Dame too much. And at number 10, I have Georgia. Georgia's just ahead of Notre Dame because they beat Notre Dame, and it's not like Notre Dame's resume is so much better than Georgia's that I have to put Notre Dame ahead. Georgia beat Notre Dame. Let's put them ahead. You know, we need to make we need to make everything be decided on the field. Now, a new team to the ranking is number nine, Oregon. Oregon got their first good win of the season over Washington. I know Washington has taken three losses already, but according to FPI, they're a top 15 team, and it's it's tough to win there. It's tough to win in in Seattle. So. I'm giving Oregon a lot of credit for winning that game, and the Oregon's loss isn't too terrible either, and that's why I have to put Oregon at number nine. I put Oregon over Georgia because, first of all, Oregon's loss is better than Georgia's loss. You know, Washington wins nowhere near as good as a Notre Dame win, so the big tiebreaker there is how Georgia lost and how Oregon lost, and I think Oregon's loss was to a better team. I'm going to put Oregon ahead. Now ahead of Oregon at number eight, I have Auburn. And now last week it was a little controversial, I had Auburn at 6, and I've decided to bump them down because putting Auburn at 6 makes the games not matter. It makes that Florida loss irrelevant. Putting Auburn ahead of an undefeated team makes their loss irrelevant. It's just like, well, the loss didn't mean anything, they're ahead of this undefeated team. So I decided to move Auburn down, and I've actually put Florida ahead of Auburn at number 7. That's why, because uh, Florida beat Auburn. And again, the resumes are similar. Florida has lost to the best team, or one of the best teams in the country in LSU, and they beat Auburn. They deserve to be ahead of Auburn. So, Florida at seven. We have number six, Clemson. Now, Clemson is at number six because they really haven't played anybody. They beat AM, and that's a good win. But the reason Ohio State, which is at number five, the reason Ohio State is ahead of Clemson is because Ohio State has dominated every game, and Clemson did not show they were playoff ready in that North Carolina game. They won the game, and we gotta give them credit for that, but they did not show playoff readiness, which is what I, I, I'm looking for. So that's why Clemson is at six. And at number five, we have Ohio State. In Ohio State, they've dominated everybody on the schedule, and they deserve some credit for that, but they, have, they don't have any wins. And I'm not going to give too much influence to a team beating bad teams by a lot. I think you can run up the score and skew things a little bit. I'm not going to put Ohio State's resume, I'm not going to rank Ohio State's resume in the top four just because they haven't been able to prove that they can beat a top 20 caliber or top 25 caliber team. Next week, it's going to change. They're going to beat Wisconsin, and I'm going to move them up. That's what's going to happen. But right now, and it's not a big deal, it's week eight of the season, but right now, they're not one of the four best resumes. And coming in at number four, I have Oklahoma. Oklahoma has beaten Texas, and that is a better win, better than Ohio State's win. Ohio State has no really good wins, and 
Oklahoma is ahead of Ohio State because of the Texas win, which proved that they are taking a step to be a little bit more playoff ready, and we have to reward Oklahoma's Texas win. Oklahoma's dominated everybody on their schedule, and they have a good win. That's why they're ahead of Ohio State and Clemson. Now, at number three, we have Alabama. Now, Alabama's dominated everybody. Now, you might say Tennessee didn't wasn't quite a dominated game, but it, w it wasn't close. Tennessee didn't have a chance. I have Alabama at three also because of the A&M win, how dominant that was. And Alabama's just won every game by practically 20 or more points. So um, the reason they'd be ahead of Oklahoma is because A&M's probably a better team or comparable to the Texas win for Oklahoma. And Alabama blew Texas A&M out. That's why Alabama is ahead of Oklahoma. And at number two, very surprising, might be very surprising to some people, is Penn State. Why? They've beaten a top 20 Iowa team and a top 15 Michigan team. Besides LSU, none of the undefeated teams have had two top 20 wins. Besides LSU. So that's why I have Penn State at number two. You have to reward them for the wins. I know Penn State is not better than Alabama. They've had good wins and you gotta reward them for that. We gotta reward teams for winning big games. Simple. And then at number one, no change since last week, is LSU. They have the best resume of any team so far. They've beaten Florida, which is, you know, the best win of the undefeated teams, period. And be beaten Texas, gone on the road, played at Texas, which is a very good win, too. Both of those wins is enough to put LSU ahead of Penn State and put LSU at the number one spot. So, just as a recap, um, our playoff, if the playoff started today, I'd have LSU, Penn State, Alabama, and Oklahoma in. Now, it's obviously very early, but, you know, treat this as, you know, the committee rankings for week eight. You know, I'm obviously, it's going to get a lot more fun towards the end of the season and a lot more fun on Selection Sunday when I'm going to select my four teams. And, um, but right now, the I, I'm pretty satisfied with my rankings and, I think it's fair. I think it's fair to the teams, and I think it, and it. And I think the teams are ranked in a way, which makes the games exciting to watch. So I hope you enjoyed this video.